Hello, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. It's Marnay and it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, July has been a very busy month for me, but I wanted to show you a quick and easy, beginner friendly uh, quilt block that I think you would really enjoy and it's a great way to use up um, little scraps of blocks. So um, what I'm calling this block is my Bow Wow <laughs> Schnauzer Scotty block. It's simply easy. Um, it consists of two and a half inch squares and you just need some background uh, fabrics and you need some colorful fabrics for this and two and a half inch blocks. I don't have a pattern for this, but I'm going to walk you through it and show you how I put it together because it is really simple and it can turn out really cute and you can make it as colorful or color controlled as you want. So what you're going to need um, for your blocks, you're going to need 16 two and a half inch background blocks. I use the muslin for, for my for my background, but you can use any light colored background that you want, whatever coordinates with your, your, your colors. And then you're gonna need 16 color blocks in two and a half inches. And you're going to um, make them in rows and five across and five down. And um, seven of your colorful blocks, you're gonna need to fold them diagonally. So I'm gonna show you one that I already have finished so you can see what we're doing. This is a retro block. I'm going to move my camera down so you can see this a little better. I'm going to try to angle it. I have a little design board here, but you can see this is a vintage one. And the reason I say this is vintage is because it, um, the, more modern, the more modern version has a crisscross block here to make the neck a little bit wider. But this is a vintage one, and this one is very simple. You wouldn't need to do the crisscross block if you wanted to just stick with this, cause, because this is just two and a half inch blocks, and then you have some of them that are folded diagonally. So if I put you down here, I'm going to show you kind of how I did this. So you get all the feet. So this one has already been sewed together and I did put a couple little strips on the side because I was trying to frame it out. This was my very first one. I found this, this block on Pinterest and I decided to try it and it's so fun and so colorful and this would make a really cute quilt. So what I did, I did one, two, three, four, five, two and a half inch blocks across. But this one here, I folded in half, I sewed it down the middle and you can draw a line or you can press it. I just pressed it and I sewed it along the press line. I cut the back part off and then I folded the front down so I have that that half square triangle that I need. Half square triangles, if you know what they are, they're very simple to do. So this one's a half square triangle for the tail and you want the tail to be angled out. And then this one here is another half square triangle that will be angled forward. So um, you will make the, the neckline. And then of course the head and then three half square triangles for the snout. And then you see here, I've got six blocks here that fill in for the body and one colorful block for each leg. And then all the rest of the blocks are just um, fill-ins in between to shape your schnauzer. And if you really, your schnauzer or your Scotty dog, it's just really fun. I like to refer them, to them as my schnauzers because I have schnauzers and I think this is a really cute thing to do. So um, I decided to do, um, I decided to experiment a little bit with this. So I went a step forward and I have a lot of these little two and a half inch blocks and I cut up all my scraps. If they're little pieces, I cut them as small as two and a half, no, as small as two inch. Some of them I, I save one inch strips for um, log cabin, but I have lots of these. So these are what I cut up for my scraps. So I decided to do these in colors. So I thought maybe I would try to do a blue one in different colored blocks and make different colored dogs. So I really like the colorful one, but I like the color controlled ones too. So this is a blue one. And I did a couple more colors. Get my threads off here. <laughs> and this one's a purple. And I can you visualize all of these put together in these different colors. And I mean, the, the, the possibilities with these are, are just really endless. And what you want to do if you want to use controlled colors or if you want to do all different colors. And another idea I have on the neck of these dogs, if you really want to get creative, you could get some ribbon and put across and make little doggy collars and put like a little button, you know, for like the dog tag, like dangling off his neck. Um, you could put little posies on his neck. I mean, really the ideas are endless. I mean, you could make some background 
whatever you want to do with these. So that's what I've gotten so far. Now, I have got another one here that I've got layered up in yellow. And you can see that all my blocks here are just laid on here. This one isn't sewed together yet. So I've got one, two, three, three salad blocks. Then I have my half square triangle and I've already sewn them just so you can see that I have um, sewed it on my fold line. And this part here on the bottom, I will cut, cut that off with my scissors or my rotary cutter and then I will fold this back down so you have a nice half square triangle and that will make his ear. So you want to remember that his ear is, is going forward. And um, starting at the tail, the tail you want it to be angled back. So if you need to stop my video, or if you want to look this up on Pinterest, you can find this. They are just really simple on how you lay out your blocks and it's just really easy. So you can see, I have these all um, sewed down. Now this one, this one here, I told you that the, the vintage one didn't have the crisscross blocks. Now I didn't sew all this one all together because as you can see, I sewed this one across first and then you'll cut this back part off. And then when you want to sew the second crisscross on, you're going to lay it over the top, almost like a set of star legs. And if you've watched any of my videos on how to do the stars, this is how we make the star legs. So when you lay that across and then you can open it up to your press line, sew it down, and then you'll cut the top back part off and then flip it up. And then you will have this angled neck along with the mug and the snout. So it's just really fun. I did this one in yellows. Um, I want to do a lot of colors and make a really cute quilt out of it. And I think I might go ahead and um, try to design some little collars for them and maybe a little button dog tag. I, I'm, I'm not really sure, but these are really fun, really a fun thing to play with. And um, I think it would be really interesting if um, you would have two and a half inch scrap blocks or any size blocks. They don't really have to be two and a half inch blocks. They can be, you can do bigger blocks and make bigger squares. Um, these squares, I didn't write down my measurement, but I can tell you right quick that my squares are, when they're all sewed together, they are gonna measure 10 and a half inch square. So this is a 10 and a half inch square. And I use the quarter inch seam allowance, so you should get about a 10 and a half inch square. Um, just really simple, basic, fun for kids. Kids could sew these together because they're just simply blocks. You're sewing together in rows. And when I sewed them together on my back seams here, when I sewed my seams, I pressed one row of my seams going one way and the other, the next row going the opposite way so that your, your seams will nest together when you sew your rows together and it makes it much neater. And when you press it, it lays nice and flat. So this will be really cute. Um, I'm gonna frame my dogs around with muslin, but you could frame your dogs with another color, you know, and all coordinated. Um, I think I'm gonna do scrappy though. I'm going to, I have a lot of scrappy strips and I think I'm going to sew some scrappy strips around mine because these are just really like, scrappy little dogs and they make this fun little design. And then um, for my border, when I get my dogs all put together with my scrappy borders in between, I have a really nice fabric that has a lot of colors in it, so I will do like a wide border, kind of like, you know, how my quilts do, you know, when you want to frame the whole quilt, I will do it in one coordinating color, but it's just a really fun thing to do. And as I said, July has been a very busy month for me. Um, I am getting married this month, um, the July 24th actually, and I will keep you posted all on that, and I'm sure I'll have plenty of pictures. We've been hard at work here at the farmhouse. I haven't had much time in my sewing room or even, you know, time to get, you know, my videos up kept. Um, I have quilts coming in that are going to need to be quilting. I've had people contact me. It's very exciting. Um, but I would really like to show you um, some of the things that we have for our wedding that's, that's coming up. We're doing a lot of our own uh, designs for arbors and and different things and Jim's been busy in the garage building things so it's really exciting um, but like I said I'll keep you posted on all that um, my my ring has been sent off I um, picked up my wedding ring it is a, a very um, princess crown like uh, ring and it's getting melded to my my diamonds <laughs> very busy very busy so anyway I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have please like and subscribe um, and 
I'm on Instagram. I'm not on there a lot, but if you want to find me on Instagram, I am under Broken Wings Sewing Creator. I am also um, the owner of Country Farmhouse Quilting uh, right here in my sewing room. Um, you can email me at countryfarmhousequilting at gmail.com. Love to hear from you. If you have a quilt that you'd like to have done, I would be more than happy and excited to do it for you. Um, love to see your thoughts, your ideas on Instagram. So that would be awesome too. But um, anyway, I will keep you posted on all that's happening in July. So happy sewing for today and try out my little schnauzer bow wow uh, blocks and have fun. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.